Lisa Packard and I'm here to talk a little bit about myself. When I was a baby, 11 months old, my father was killed in a race car. He was a race car driver and um, a very good one. And that has uh, impacted my life more than anything, of course. Uh, yet at the same time, my father was completely devoted to me for the 11 months that I had him in my life. And he, he was such a presence and such a force for good. I feel that he must have let me know with every bit of his being and every moment that I was enough and that I was wonderful because I have a tremendous sense of resilience and tenacity and self-confidence and I'm so grateful for that. Basically, when I look at my early beginnings with this, I realized that yeah, it is what it is. And what am I gonna do with that? One of my favorite phrases or a phrase that I use for navigating life, because life can be pretty difficult for just about anybody at certain times is, so what? So what, now what? So what, I have this tragedy in my past, um, not to minimize it or not to minimize anyone else's tragedies, but so what, now what? Now what am I gonna do? Now uh, am I gonna wallow in my sadness and grief and be better? I also believe you can choose to be bitter or be better. And uh, I take that uh, to heart and I'm working hard and always have to be better. And. Um, I graduated with my bachelor degree from college when I was 52 years old and um, here I sit in my master's degree program and will graduate from that when I'm 60. Another small mantra that I live by, and it's something that I learned working at a, at a local college about five years ago, is the way that we look at life can have a big difference on how we uh, interact with our life and, and um, our choice to have an attitude. And that was the phrase, um, do you have to or can you get to? Uh, at that time, I was navigating a difficult divorce with a busy family, uh, lots of children, and I'd been married a long time. And I went back into the workforce, and for several, several months, maybe even over a year, I kept feeling this, uh, I have to do this, I have to work hard, I have to get up. I, and then one day I watched um, this video that said, change your attitude and realize you get to. I get to go to work and make money and pay the bills. I get to go learn new things. I get to have a career now because now I'm in charge of my life. And when I realized that I get to do that, uh, it gives me a better sense of, of what I'm doing for myself and how I'm going to move forward. Along with my uh, strong, I'd say it's a gift or maybe just n nature or nurture, trying to figure out where my traits come from. My resilience I know comes from having to grow up in a home with a single mom back in the 60s when no one even knew what that term was, single mom. Women just got remarried. and. Um, my mom didn't, she didn't remarry until I was a senior in high school. So uh, my traits, resilience, I'm super resilient, tenacious. If I want something, I go after it. I'm resourceful uh, from all that experience. Uh, but one of the most interesting things about myself is that um, I have a really strong sense of humanity and caring for other people. And actually, I really think that my very best talent is loving people and um, loving loving things. Uh, I believe we can all live in harmony and even when I'm carrying spiders outside while the teenage boys that live in my house are screaming, 
uh, I still tell them we could live in harmony and and that's really important to me and um, I'm not really sure where that came from but I embrace it and I use it and and that's a, a mantra I live by every day because bottom line to me is um, aren't we all just walking each other home and um, so I work hard to be a force of loving kindness in this world.